my name is Andrew Winsman. I'm from HPS. Today we're at a local shop here in Minnesota, Star. We'll be doing an Aegis Cake Clamp Set service on a Northfield machine standing behind me. We'll be doing the service with our patent pending tool on an Aegis Cake 63F Clamp Set. The spindle that's on this Northfield machine is an HSD 988. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your 18 millimeter wrench any outer that's including the kit. You're going to take your 18 millimeter wrench and put it on the flats of the clamp body, like that. All right, and then you're going to take your Allen T handle, insert it into the inside, and turn it counterclockwise while you hear it snap. Now the set screws loose. Once the set screw is loose, you're going to activate the draw bar so the rotation of the spindle is locked. Put the 18 millimeter wrench on it and turn it counterclockwise until the spool body is removed from the bottom of the spindle. All right, right there is the finger body. We'll set that to the side. You're going to grab your included pliers in the kit. You're going to use this remove the fingers from the bottom of the spindle. Insert the pliers into the bottom of the spindle. Firmly grip on each finger. Wiggle and pull. There's one. Do that to each finger until they're all removed. Once the fingers are removed, you're going to take the pliers and take out the castle nut assembly. Firmly grip and pull. It look like that. Fingers, castle nut assembly, and finger body is removed from the bottom of the spindle. You can take a clean rag or a nice clean towel and clean each component and inspect it for any debris or any defects. You're clear to take your brush and include a Metaflux and lubricate all of the critical surfaces. First, we'll start with the finger. We have a little bit here. We'll apply it to the wear points of the fingers. Now we're going to lubricate the finger body with Metaflux as well. All right. This is our reinsertion tool. First, you're going to grab one finger at a time and you're going to snap it onto the reinsertion tool. And you'll see they snap onto the tool nicely. That's because it's magnetized. All the fingers are installed. You're going to take your castle nut assembly and mate it with the fingers. like that. With your reinsertion tool holding the assembly, you're going to slowly insert into the bottom of the spindle. You should feel quick and remove the insertion tool. Now you're going to take the finger body and insert it into the bottom of the spindle. When you insert it, just put it between the fingers and rotate it a few times. Now you're ready to take our patent pending XPS HSK clamp set calibration tool and set your HSK clamp set. Take your XPS calibration tool, first start by turning it off. Now the most crucial step is making sure you verify if your travel indicator in our tool is zeroed out. And you want to just use a flat surface. So we'll just use the side of the machine. Go to zero, flatten it, press zero. Once the tool is zeroed out, it's ready to be installed into the bottom of the spindle. Take the XPS calibration tool and simply snap it into the bottom of the finger body. Just like that. You're going to need to activate the draw bar and rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise to get it within spec. 
Now you're going to take your 4 millimeter Allen, insert into the bottom of the spindle, through the axis hole designed in the part, and turn your Allen clockwise, tightening the set screw. And just get a little snug. You're going to hit the draw bar button and verify it. I usually like to do this a few times because it doesn't hurt. So we're at 413,000. Now we're going to remove the tool, put the 18 millimeter wrench on, and give it a good snug. Just like in the beginning, we'll put our 18 millimeter wrench on the flats, insert our Allen, and give it a good, good little snug down. And the last step after we verify it with the XPS calibration tool is we're going to grab a tool that's around the shop and just verify if it's functioning properly. Activate the draw bar. Insert the tool. Looks like everything is functioning properly. Your HSK clamp set service is now complete. Your signal is ready to run. I'd like to thank you for your time, and as always, keep that spindle turning. If you have any questions regarding our HSK clamp set service kit, please refer to the description of this video. Thank you.